the government of Antigua and Barbuda today announced the formation of a select committee charged with overseeing the implementation process as the nation seeks to suspend certain concessions and other obligations related to United States intellectual property rights sanctioned by the World Trade Organization, WTO, at a session in January of this year. Tashika Levan has the details in this report. The seven-member WTO Remedies Implementation Committee, chaired by Attorney General Justin Simon Cusey, is responsible for directing the government's plan to build the framework necessary to suspend selected U.S. intellectual property rights to the tune of U.S. $21 million per year, effective from April 2006. A.G. Simon says that in addition to devising the implementation scheme, the committee would also ensure that Antigua and Barbuda would do so in full compliance with all applicable international and domestic laws that might relate to the suspension of the intellectual property rights. The newly formed committee also includes Permanent Secretary in the Department of Trade, Industry and Commerce, Ambassador Colin Murdoch, Magistrate and Deputy Registrar of Intellectual Property, Conliffe Clark, Legislative Drafter in the Department of Legal Affairs, Aisha Bazan, the Department Deputy Financial Secretary of Finance, John Edwards, and two additional persons who will be designated by the Ministry of Telecommunications, Science and Technology, and by the Antiguan Intellectual Property Office, along with legal counsel Mark Mandel, all make up the committee. Attorney General Simon has expressed pleasure with the composition of the Implementation Committee, stating that it clearly has the expertise that the country will need to cover all the bases in the development and implementation of the WTO-approved remedies. He also calls on the committee to work along with him expeditiously to ensure prompt and proper use of this valuable right. As government had announced in the spring, events have made it clear that recourse to the WTO remedy is necessary if the nation is to progress towards a swift and equitable resolution in the decade-long trade dispute with the United States. Attorney General Simon notes that Antigua and Barbuda has been seeking a fair and reasonable compromise on the matter since the day they brought forward the case. He says, however, that unfortunately, the United States has not yet put a fair settlement offer on the table. Whether or not recourse to these remedies will convince it otherwise in any event, the AG says at least there will be some substantial compensation to Antigua and Barbuda as the intellectual property suspensions are implemented. The Remedies Implementation Committee will convene its first organizational session within a week and is expected to deliver its first progress report to government no later than two weeks thereafter. For ABS News, Tashika Levan reporting.